Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to clean a gaming computer. I'll also show you the temperatures of this computer before and after cleaning it. You see a dusty computer will run hotter and can therefore potentially run slower. But once a dusty computer has had a good clean, it can give you more frames per second when gaming, faster gaming loading times, faster boot up times and can also give you a faster computer in general but this will vary depending on how dusty the computer was in the first place. Now this computer hasn't had a clean in quite a while, so it's probably going to be quite dusty in there. So let's take a look. Yep, it's quite dusty inside. I did check the temperatures just before opening this computer and the processor whilst under load was going up to about 81 centigrade and the graphics card whilst under load was running up to about 73 centigrade. We'll check the temperatures again after cleaning this PC to see if it's made any difference. I'll be taking a few parts out of this computer to give it a good clean. If you're doing this with your own computer, just take note of where those bits went and which way around they were plugged in. To clean this computer, I'll be using a cloth, cotton buds, and a can of compressed air. Links in the description if you want to check out one of these for yourself. So first off I'll take out the graphics card just here and I'll take out its power connectors first. You need to push this clip in here and then pull this connector out and same with the second one if your graphics card has two of these a bit of a rock in motion can help pull this one out. Now we can take out these two screws just here that's holding the graphics card in. Now we take the graphics card out. Most graphics cards are held in by a clip just here. So you just push the clip and pull the graphics card out. Next I want to take out this back case fan. So I'll unplug it from the motherboard. and then unscrew it from the back of the case. Next, the memory sticks. These are held in either by one tab just up here, like these are, or some of them are held in by a tab here and here. So open up the tabs and pull the memory sticks out. and take out the processor fan. Just unclip it from the motherboard first. And unclip it from the heatsink. Most processor fans just unclip like this. Next, the DVD drive, if yours has one. Take out its cables from the back and then unclip or unscrew it and take it out of the computer case. Next I take out the power supply's dust filter. Not all cases have these but if yours does just slide it out. Next disconnect any fans from the front of the case. This one only has one fan at the front of this computer case so I just take this one out. Now I take off this front panel, which I can just pull it from the bottom and take it off. Now, not all front panels come off like this. Some are held in by screws or clips just here. But now this is off, I can unscrew this front case fan. So that might seem like quite a lot to take out of the computer case. But I am showing you how to get the computer as clean as possible. So that's enough taking out parts, let's start cleaning this computer. Using the cloth and the can of compressed air, start at the top of the case and work your way down. When using the can, keep it as upright as possible and don't shake the can, and just use short sharp bursts. If the can itself gets extremely cold, let it sit for a while to warm up, then carry on. Blow air through the processor's heatsink too. Pull off the worst of the dust with your hand, 
then blow air through the fins of the heatsink. Keep going all the way down, removing as much dust as you can from the motherboard, all around the case, the hard drives and anything else in there. Then give the inside of the case a final wipe with the cloth. Microfiber cloths work well for this task, but you can use any cloth that is clean and dry. Next use the cloth to clean any case fans and the processor fan. Clean the cables too. Use the can of air to get any remaining dust off. If your graphics card has a plastic or metal cover on its top like this one, you can wipe it with a cloth. But if it's a bare circuit board here instead, use the can of air or the cotton buds to clean the top part of the graphics card. Use the can of air to blow through the dust from inside the graphics card. Use the cotton buds to clean its fans. Then the can of air again. Clean the power supply dust filter with a cloth and the front panel inside and out. Give the computer case's side panel a wipe and finally wipe the DVD drive if you have one. Once everything has been cleaned you can put the parts back in the case in the reverse order that you took them out. So let's screw the fan back on at the front of the case and plug that fan into the motherboard. Next on goes the front panel, the power supplies dust filter, processor fan back on and plug it into the motherboard. Plug in the memory sticks, screw on the back case fan and plug it into the motherboard. And finally plug in the graphics card, screw it into place, then plug in its power connectors. As you can see this computer looks much better now it's had a good clean. The temperatures have most likely dropped too. So let's put the side panel back on and test it out. Well, the temperature has dropped on the processor by 11 degrees centigrade and the graphics card temperature has dropped by 2 degrees centigrade. So this computer looks better and it's running a bit cooler too. Some computers will see a much bigger difference than this. As I mentioned before, it depends on how dusty the computer is in the first place. It's well worth cleaning your computer about once a year. It doesn't take very long and you may see a performance boost as well. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.